Hello, basketball fans. I'm Bill Hampton along with Tyler Wagner, and uh, we're over at the uh, West Plains Civic Center for the quarterfinal action of Class 2 between the Portageville Bulldogs and their record 21-5 and and the Bernie Mules 27-3. and Tyler, these two teams met earlier in the Christmas tournament. Met early in the Christmas tournament, the Bloomfield Christmas tournament, the championship game. It's a big game. Uh, Bernie come out with that win, 69 to 45. It's a big win for Bernie. They got out ahead early. Portageville uh, were, was forced to shoot from the outside. They weren't able to come back that way. And Bernie come away with a big win. But Portageville's been playing steady all year, very consistent. Bernie's been in a little up and down since the Bloomfield Christmas tournament. So I think we're geared up for a dandy here today for the quarterfinals. I, I agree. Corey Martin's going to be on camera for us tonight to this afternoon game, and we'll be showing this game many, many times. The winner, a lot at stake. They're going on to Columbia in the Final Four. Oh, yeah, this is a quarterfinal, the game before the Final Four, and in my own experience, this game could be just as nerve-wracking as a state championship because this is the game to get you to the state semifinals in Columbia. Yeah, Tyler, you played for New Madrid County Central. You went to state three times. Is that correct? That's correct. 2000, 2001, 2002, and uh, it, was a, it was a hard journey the whole way, and, you know, Coach... Brad Botch and Jim Bowell know that's that's what they're going to deal with, and uh, this is going to be a high-stakes game and see who goes to Columbia. What uh, what are the coaches telling their players uh, in in the uh, locker rooms prior to coming out for warm-ups? Well, one thing they they've already had some exter experience in postseason play. They've they played a district championship, they played a sectional round, so it's not really anything different than what they've already been they've played in the past two rounds. So you just come out with the same focus that you did the previous two games and just be yourself, do, do what you do, do what you've done all year that's made you successful. Stay disciplined, stay focused, and play within yourself and don't, don't try to do too much because what, you got you, what got you here is what you've done all year long. Folks, uh, we have talked to a lot of people from Bernie and Portageville. They're just glad that we're here doing this game. If you enjoy this game, please tell the sponsors how much because I guarantee you one thing, without them, we couldn't have been here tonight. But i tell you one thing, I expect a D-A-N, D-Y, Dandy, and a barn burner coming up here at West Blade Civic Center. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with the starting light-ups in just a moment. I want to welcome you back. We're just moments away from the uh, opening tip-off of the Class 2 quarterfinal game. These uh, both teams, Portageville and Bernie, made it to the uh, final eight, the elite eight, I should say. Final four is the next step. Before we get started, we want to thank Jim Weaver, uh, West Plains, uh, over here at the Civic Center for uh, getting us all set up. YHC, we really appreciate his help and uh, really appreciate MSHAA and all what they have done where we could bring this game to you, our fans. I tell you, I looked at the Bernie crowd. I looked over at the Portageville crowd. I think that somebody had to sign up the last one to leave either town, turn the lights out, because they've got a crowd. They sure do. It's, uh, it's going to be a high-stakes game, and uh, there's none bigger than a quarterfinal game to get you to the state semifinals. Well, while Corey is panning the crowd there, uh, I want to tell you there's a special lady here today, Toots McGowan, 93 years old from Bernie. She watched three of her grandsons play, or great, uh, her great three of her grandsons play 20 years ago in uh, in the tournament, and now she's watching her great grandson play. That is quite quite something. And that there's Toots amazing. right there on camera for you. And uh, boy, she looks like she could go up and down the floor with them, doesn't sure she? Sure will, and she's sure. Uh, I bet she's surely going to be after it today because this is uh, going to be a great game between these two teams, and uh, that's just an amazing story. And tonight, today's game is sanctioned by the Missouri State High School Activities Association. Today's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, your friends at YHC and the Missouri State High School Activities Association remind everyone to do their part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. When you intend your next game, do your part to help rekindle the spirit of citizenship by showing good sportsmanship. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradi tradition in the state of Missouri. Well, we want to tell you tonight's game is the sponsors. And, folks, if you enjoy watching us on YHC Channel 21 on New Wave Communications, please tell these sponsors when you see them. 
Three Rivers Community College, been with us for all three years. MFA Moore Soy Seed, Roy Owens Construction in Malden, also Welch Todd and Parker Attorneys at Law. Quality Center there in Malden, McEwen Lumber Company and Bernie, A-plus Medical. Dr. David Boyd Dentistry, First Community Bank, Butler Drugs, Winchester Place, Powell Supply, Agsplore, First State Bank and Trust, and Lincoln Lacey in Malden. Again, we want to thank those folks for bringing you to today's game, tonight's game, whenever you're watching it. It is an afternoon game. It, and, and Tyler, I talked to you at lunch since we had an early lunch. You know, this would be a tough game to, to get your team. Do we have breakfast? Do we have a brunch? Do we have lunch at 11 o'clock, 11.30 to get those stomachs settled? It'd be tough to do. Yeah, definitely around a uh, start time at around noon, which today's game's at 1 o'clock start time. Yeah, it's definitely hard to prepare, when you, especially as far, as far as these teams have come. We're already uh, all the way over in West Plains, and that's a good uh, more than a two-hour drive from where these uh, teams reside. So uh, it's, it's, there's plenty of, prep, uh, plenty of preparation that goes into this game today and what the teams have done and uh, their early morning routine and uh, their meals. So uh, it's, it's definitely it, it's much more than just the, a ball game between these two teams today because of much – has been done to get prepared for this game. Well, let's tell you this game today uh, brought to you by Quality Center in Malden. It's your store for all your Whirlpool and Maytag appliances. Quality Center has a large selection of Hitachi, LG, and Sharp LTVs. A great selection of furniture for any room of your home. That's Quality Center is your snapper dealer. Quality Center is your AT&T cell phone dealer. Stop in and see Cecil Weeks at Quality Center located at 122 South Madison in Malden. Phone 276 36 Four two. That's Quality Center in Malden. McEwen Lumber in Bernie serves the Bernie area with all your materials for remodeling and building needs. Phone 293-4519 and talk with Wayne or any of the fine people at McEwen Lumber in Bernie. McEwen Lumber Company, a proud supporter of the Bernie Mules. A-plus medical a family clinic. That's A-plus family clinic located at 203 East 3rd Street in Portageville. Phone 379-2100. A-plus family clinic is proud to support the Portageville Bulldogs. If you're feeling less than your best, come see the A-team at A-plus family clinic in Portageville. Well, we're ready for introduction of the starting lineups. Again, glad you folks have enjoyed us. Want to thank New Wave Communications for allowing us to bring you these games. Also, all of our sponsors. Man, what a what a tremendous outpouring from uh, from sponsors we got there for this, uh, Tyler. Yeah, definitely. We uh, we're hoping to do this game. Hopefully, the sponsors will be there and they they come and very gracious towards us, and we surely appreciate that. Oh, say can you see? Place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC.
Let's meet the starting lineups. First for the Bernie Mules, they'll be in blue tonight with a record of 27-3. Brad Botch, the head coach, assisted by Jason Long and uh, Darren Shipman. Bernie Mules have had a great season. They uh, stumped their toll a couple times, uh, especially at the Stoddard County Tournament, but they were playing some good ball clubs, too. Oh, yeah, they've had a, you know, you get in that Stoddard County, that Stoddard County uh, schedule, and uh, every, t every game's going to be big, and they've had a, a few tough games there in the Stoddard County Conference, stumbled a bit, uh, stumbled on a few of them, but uh, they're back, and they're playing very well. They're here late in the season, which is the, time that you want to be playing your best. Birdie will be in blue tonight. Tyler and I are wearing our blue shirts for Portageville and Birdie. <laughs> Number 31, a 6'2 senior, Zach Curry. For Portageville, they'll do introduce uh, visitor and home, visitor and home. Number 23, D.J. Birdwell, a 6'1 senior. Birdwell really came through in that uh, sectional game, or the finals, uh, against Cooter because he, he really opened it up and hit the threes. Yeah, he's one of the players to look for in this game if he can get hot. Number 22, he's only a, a junior, a 6'0 junior, Jake Owens. Number 30, a 6'0 senior, Bruce Mathis for Portageville. Number 40, a 6'1 senior, Daniel Becking. And boy, he has really stepped up and had to fill some big shoes when Jake Smith went down with a broken foot. Number 20, a 6'4 senior, Roy Den Booker. Number 14, Quentin Stevens. He is a 6'1 uh, junior. Number 32, a 6'2 senior, Donnell Menace. And this is the matchup we want to watch right here. These two guards right here. Number 12, Jake Welch, a 5'9 junior. And number one, Byron Wright, a 6'1 senior. This, this could be the matchup right here. Folks, get you a dad soda. A hot dog, a Little bag mustard. of popcorn, and get those seat belts on because this could be a track meet. Yeah, both teams love to get it up and down, and we'll see early on. Uh, in the first matchup, we saw Bernie get out to a strong lead early on, so we'll see if Portageville, Portageville is going to bring a lot of defensive pressure to, to tame the mules early on, so this is going to be one heck of a game. Well, the tip-off tonight brought to you by Dr. David M. Boyd, General Dentist Dentistry. He has two offices, one located at 118, 118 East Main Street in Portageville, open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For appointments, phone 379-3650. Also, 109 East 5th Street in Crothersville, open Monday and Fridays. For appointments, call 333-1550. Dr. David M. Boyd, General Dentistry, and the We Care team remind everyone, whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10:31. Ball tipped up. Birdwell comes away with it for the Bulldogs. Gets it back to right. Birdie played. Birdie's hit a man-to-man. -man. Kind of surprised me. I thought they'd go that 2-3 zone. Birdwell driving to baseline. Puts it up. Will not go. Stevens with a rebound. Quickly uh, looking down the floor. Kind of a control fast break. Gets the ball over to Curry. Curry hits Owens on the baseline, but the ball's blocked. But it's going to be a foul. Foul's going to be called on Donnell Menace. A good backdoor cut that time by Owens. Sure was. Portageville bringing a lot of uh, pressure in the man-to-man. -man. Jake Owens used that aggressiveness to go back door and get an open open look, and he happened to get fouled, and he's going to get two shots on that foul. Well, you know as well as I do, whenever you're going to play a Jim Bidewell team, you're going to play a defensive team. Owens missed the first. How tight are these guys going to be in this game? Well, I don't think they're going to be very tight. They've already played each other, so they're going to know what each other has. So, so it's not nothing's going to be a surprise. So I think they should play a little loose. And uh, I think they're going to play very aggressive here early on because they know what, you, what each other has on each side of the floor. Menace with the ball, working against Becking. Picks his dribble up, gets it to Wright. Wright comes to the top of the key, Welch is on him. At speed versus speed, kick back to Birdwell, to Booker. 
Booker to Mathis. Mathis drives in, gets it off to Birdwell. Birdwell puts it up, scores it. First field goal by either team. Portersville bringing the full court pressure. Press, uh, pressing down low. Once they get it in, they kind of back off. Birdwell is on Welch tonight. Welch is driving in, kicks the ball out to Becky. Becky looks at the baseline, pulls it back out. Gets it to Welch. Welch still on the baseline, back to Becky. Becky over to Owens. That defense of Portageville is really stiff right now. Owens, a nice spin move. Loses control. Right with it, going down. He puts it up, scores it. Byron Wright puts Portageville up 4-1 with 6-11 to go in his first quarter. Quentin Stevens quickly down the floor, drives in. Kicks it out to Zach Curry. Curry for the quarter for three. Will that go? Short. Rebounded that tie by Bruce Mathis. 5.55 to go in this opening period of play. Portageville on top, 4-1. To Birdwell with the ball on the wing. Stevens on him. Shot put up at time. Mathis scores it. Donnell Mathis with two. It's 6-1. to one. Completely different than what we saw at the at the uh, Yeah, that's Christmas exactly third. the scheme that Portageville wants to get their shots sure. within 15 feet, 15 feet because they're deadly within yeah. that range. Nice move at time by Stevens. First field goal for Bernie, six to three, five twenty-five to go in this opening period. Glad that you joined us on YHC. Mathis with the ball. Portageville being very patient. Right for three. Will not go. Ball rebounded on the floor by Wright. Puts it up and in. Wright with four. He only had four in the entire uh, game against Bernie at the Christmas tournament. Yeah, Eight he to looked three. for him to have a much bigger game today. Stevens for three. Will not go. Rebounded that tab on the floor by Becky. He goes back up with it. Will not go. Owens follows with the rebound. Ball tipped up by Wright, but he was out of bounds. Ball will go over to the Mules. Jordan McGowan in for Bernie. Going out is Quentin Stevens. Welch will inbound under the offensive back at basket for the Mules. Mathis is going out for Portageville. Coming in for him will be Dimitri Treadwell. Zach Curry with a tough shot. Tough shot in the lane. That's a good look by Becky underneath also. 8-5 with 4.40 to go in this opening quarter. Birdwell with a drive on the left side. Picks it up. Nice cutoff at time, Owens. Treadwell with the ball at the top of the key. Gets it over to right. Welch is on him. It's a good matchup at speed or quickness versus quickness right there. Nobody picked up. Right as he drove the bucket. He missed it. Owens with a rebound. Gets it out to Welch. Welch tried to save it. Ball out of bounds. Bernie had the ball and turned it over. Unforced error that time. 4-12 to go. First quarter, 8-5. Portageville on top. It looked like Welch was wanting to get up the court and uh, get on the fast break, but Owens thought he was going to pull up and threw it right behind him. Treadwell with the ball. Kicks it out to Birdwell. Birdwell from 12. Will not go. Block out that time by Birdie, but picked up on the on the floor by Fred Treadwell, and he knocks it down. 10-5 with 3.50 to go in the first quarter. Ball down to Owens for three and a quarter. Write it down. I tell you, he, he, he amazes me the way he gets the ball. He's always squared up to the hole, and he's ready to, to get in a shooting position. Yeah, Owens is definitely one of Bernie's best shooters, yep. and if he gets hot early on, this, this, that's, that can prove yep. great for Bernie down the stretch. 3.30 to go in this opening period. Wright working against Welch. They're trying to clear out for him. Wright goes in, kicks the ball down to. Shot put up that time by Booker. Would not go. Becky with the rebound. Kicks it out to Owens. Bernie on the move. Bernie can tie it or take the lead with a three. Owens drives in. Puts it on the board. Will not go. Rebounded by Wright. Wright quickly over to Birdwell. Birdwell on a quick uh, layup. Scores it. DJ Birdwell. First two, Welch on a quick drive. We're going to have a push at time by Birdwell. Birdwell with the foul. Probably a good foul right there. Oh, yeah. The Welch had the basket yeah. all to himself after he got by him. So uh, you don't want the Mules to get any easy baskets, especially here early on. Second team foul on Portageville. Jake Smith and Jeremy uh, Walker in for Bernie. Coming in for Portageville is A.J. Brown. 
I couldn't see who the other one was that came in for Portageville. Smith for the quarter, scores it. Smith, just as soon as he gets in the game, they give him the ball, and he scores. Well, that's a nice bank shot by it Smith was. there. 12-10 with 2.50 to go in the opening quarter. Boy, we've seen a lot of action, a lot of defense, but a lot of motion. Right working against Welch. Notice how they're going into 1-4. They're wanting right to do something with it. Three-pointer that time put up by Treadwell. Will not go. Rebounded by Stevens. Stevens quickly down the floor. He pulls up, kicks the ball over to McGowan. McGowan for three. Will not go. Rebounded that time by Menace of Portageville. 12-10, 2 20 to go. I tell you, this is an exciting game. It sure is. It's we up knew and it down. was going to be. Very much up and down here early on. We've got timeout on the floor with 2.10 to go in this first quarter. We want to tell you that this game tonight being brought to you by First Community Bank in Bernie, where service to their customers is number one. That's the First Community Bank in Bernie. Also, this game tonight brought to you by Butler Drug Stores, located at 222 East Main Street in Portageville. It's your local health mart pharmacy, phone 379-5469. Butler Drug Store is 24-hour prescription service, phone 379-9609. Also, Paramount Cards, Pangram Candy, and many more items for your shopping convenience. Pharmacist Trey Roan invites everyone to Butler uh, Drug Store located downtown Portageville. Butler Drug Store, a proud supporter of the Portageville Bulldog basketball team. Tell you, Trey's a good guy. Every time it, you want to say that you're doing Portageville sports, he's right on there. We appreciate that. Go ahead, Tyler. What do you have for us? Well, uh... A nice look at the game early on. Portageville is actually the team on the break, getting four fast break points early on. And uh, also second chance points. Portageville has got four second chance points, and that's a key statistic to look at in this game okay. is rebounding and who yep. can uh, convert on those second chance opportunities. Bernie has always prided itself in blocking off the board, especially in a man-to-man -man because all you got to do is put the butt in the gut. Now Bernie's gone to a zone. They're in a 2-3. That's what they were so effective with against uh, Portageville at the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Menace with the ball, kicks it out to Treadwell. Treadwell for three, scores it. Demetri Treadwell, first three for Portageville, 15 to 10, 140 to go. Stevens out to McGowan. McGowan thought about it, pulled it back, gets it over to Smith. Smith puts it up, scores it. Jake Smith touched the ball twice and scored both times. Well, it's a nice look by McGowan, too. He was yep. behind the three, faked the shot, forced the defense to pick him up, scooted over to Smith for a nice shot, his second of the game. 15-12. Right with the ball. Hits it to Treadwell, and Treadwell over to Menace. Stepping out of bounds that time was Menace. So ball turned over to the Mules. 15-12 with 1.15 to go in the opening quarter. Zach Curry back in for Bernie. Also in for Bernie is Jake Owens back in. A lot of subbing, and there'll be a lot of substitution. Both the coaches go deep into their lineup. Yeah, each, each team has eight or nine players that they can put on the floor and uh, expect the same production. Smith with a drive, kicks it to Curry. Curry's going to drive the baseline, puts it up, scores it. Zach Curry. Well, that's a nice move by Curry. He had the open three, but he had the Portageville defender coming out fast. Faked it, go to the hole to get the easier shot. Curry with four in the quarter. 15-14, 45 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Brown with the ball. Now you talk back quick. There's quick. Oh, yeah. He gets the ball to Treadwell. Now that's Dimitri Treadwell. Treadwell gets the ball to Mathis. Mathis thought about the baseline. He loses it out of bounds. Turned over to the Mules. Mules with 26.6 seconds to go. We have a chance to take the lead. Birdwell in for Portageville. Going out is Dimitri Treadwell. Also in for Bernie is Becking. Going out is Jake Smith. 15-14, we've only had one lead change in this game. Bernie went on top one to nothing. Portageville came down and, and scored, and since that time, Portageville's led the entire game. Bernie with a chance to take the lead here at the end of the first quarter of play. Welch with the ball, working against Brown. Throws in to Welch. Welch being double teamed. All right, Welch. Owens oh, being double teamed. Gets the ball back and steps out of bed. We're going to have a foul on T.J. Birdwell. Looked like he uh, pushed that time. What the referee called. 
6.2 seconds. Bernie will inbound on their side. On the sideline, Bernie will bring the ball in. Birdwell goes out. Coming in for him is Dimitri Treadwell. Owens to inbound. Gets the ball to Becking. Back to Owens. Owens going to try the baseline. Steps out of <coughs> gonna be, stepped out of bounds, I believe, is what they're going to call. 3.8 seconds. Turned over to Portageville. That's why I've never understood why people let anybody drive the baseline. There's your helper right there, another defensive man. Yeah, that's uh, that was definitely a risk there by Owens. Right for three as the horn goes off to end the first period of play. We've got a dandy brewing here, folks. 15 to 14. Portageville on top of Bertie. You're watching high school basketball on YHC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. The next time you need a metal building, call Roy Owens Construction at 276-3871. Roy Owens Construction has years of experience in metal buildings. Roy Owens Construction is located on Highway 25 North in Malden. Stop by their office today to make your plans for your next metal building. That is Roy Owens Construction Company in Malden. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd & Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd & Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. Bernie MFA Agri-Service and Fertilizer has been providing top quality products and friendly service to customers and farmers since 1950. We offer seed and crop protection plus variable rate fertilizer applications and variable soil sampling. We strive to be your good neighbor and want to show you. Come by and see us. You'll be glad you did. Bernie MFA Agri-Service is proud to support high school athletics and the youth of our community. Contact us at area code 573 293-5311. Look for the giant MFA sign at top of our grain elevator in downtown Bernie. And we're back here about to get set for the first quarter. We'll go over a few, uh, go over a few stats here on the fast break. Portersville has four fast break points. Bernie none so far. And second chance opportunities. Portersville's got four points on second chance opportunities. None so far by Bernie. And turnovers. We've got three turnovers by the Bernie Mules. Portersville's converted two points off those turnovers. And Portageville has two turnovers. Bernie's managed to score two points off of the Portageville Bulldogs turnovers. I want to tell you tonight's game brought to you by Winchester Place Residential Care uh, Facility located at the corner of Bowman and Winchester Drive in Bernie. Beautiful living room, activity, and TV room. Wellness room, licensed beauty shop, sunroom, library, and computer room. Elegant dining and private dining rooms. State-of-the-art whirlpool tub. All rooms are large and fully carpeted with refrigerator and microwave. All rooms have the private large bath with handicap accessibility. Private and semi-private rooms available are new addition. It will be complete very soon. We're adding a new apartment type units. For questions, call 293-6705 or come by and see us for a grand tour. Feel free to rework. Just come by and see them. Yeah, we're getting ready to set here for the second quarter, Bill. Very tight early on. Both teams getting up and down, very loose, staying aggressive. And uh, should see the same here in the second quarter. We'll see how both teams adjust from each other in the first quarter. Portageville starts the second half with the ball. And Bernie going out and they're playing into that 2-3 zone. That what they've done so successful with Portageville in the past. Demetri Treadwell at time tried to hit uh, Donnell Menace. Ball overthrown, turned over to the Mules. Ball passed into Welch. Welch gets it to Jake Smith. Smith uh, has a ball tipped as he was throwing it. Wright takes it away. That's where Wright is so good right there. We're going to have a foul against Jordan McGowan, his first, and that is Bernie's first team foul. Portageville with three team fouls in the first half, or the first quarter, I should say. Bernie now with their first foul of the game. Wright with the ball. 
Mules in a man-to-man -man set now. Looks yep. like they're going to uh, switch it up a little bit, try to keep the Bulldogs off, off balance. Dimitri Treadwell with the ball. Curry's on him, gets it to right. Wright drives in, gets the ball over to Fred Treadwell, and Treadwell puts it up, but a foul going to be called on Daniel Becking, his first, team second, the line to shoot two will be Fred Treadwell. And what you saw right there is what De Portersville definitely wants to do. They want to be, have the ability for Byron Wright to be at the top of the key, penetrate, and either take that shot in the lane or dish it off just as you saw there. So that's what Portersville really wants to do in this game. Mathis back in for the Bulldogs. Going out is Brown. Fred Treadwell for his second free throw. Will not go, rebounded by McGowan. McGowan gets it to Welch. 7.05 to go in this first half of play. Portageville 15, Bernie 14. Welch drives in, and we're going to have a foul called. Welch tried to put up a layup. Was fouled. The foul is going to be on. And we come here on the other side of the court, and that's exactly what Bernie wants to do. They want, they want, they want Welch to be able to get by his defender and get to the paint as well. And he's got uh, some good moves in the paint. Also, the ability to dish off for to Owens or McGowan at the three, and also for Becking down low. Fred Treadwell committing the foul. His uh, first team's fourth. Welch misses on the first free throw. Second one up, connects. Right with the basketball. Seven minutes to go in this second quarter. Great. We've got a tied game. It's 15 all. Bernie going back to the zone. Yep. Fred Treadwell for three. Well on go. Rebounded by Dimitri Treadwell. Gets the ball back to Fred. Right with it. Going to take it out front. Get Bernie in a 2-3 zone. We're trying to clog that middle. Gets it over to Dimitri Treadwell, back to right. Right down in the corner, two minutes. To Treadwell, to Mathis, to right from the corner, no good. McGowan with the rebound, has a ball knocked out of his hands, but we're going to have a foul. Foul will be on the Portageville Bulldogs, I believe. We'll have to wait and see. We're a long way from this uh, court. But what a beautiful place they've got to play oh, ball. definitely. Foul is going to be on Donnell Menace, his second, team's fifth. Game's tied, 15 all with 6.17 to go in this opening half. Welch did bound the ball. Gets, finally gets it into Smith. Smith back to Welch. Welch going to come down in traffic. Boy, he used that so well, didn't he? Gets it to Smith. The ball tipped out of his hands. It goes to Owens. Owens to uh, Stevens. Boy, look at the pressure by the Portageville defense. Stevens with a pull-up jump shot from 10. Will not go. Rebounded by Wright. Just under six minutes to go in this second quarter. Still tied 15 all. Wright with the ball. Gets it down in the corner to Mathis. Mathis swings it out to Treadwell. Treadwell back to Mathis, to Booker. Booker to Treadwell to right. Right down in the corner to Dimitri Treadwell from the side. Will not go. Rebounded by Curry. Yeah, that, that three shot, that three point shot right there was open for Treadwell. It looked like he didn't have uh, full control of it. But uh, that, the, the shot's open for Portersville there for them to take it. What a move by Jake Welch. Portageville fans wanted walking, but we've seen that for about the last three years. You can do the hop, skip, and jump and go up if you're okay. And that's when Bernie's been at their best is when Jake Welch has been able to get into the lane and make things happen there in the paint just as you saw there. Second lead change of the game. Bernie on top, 17-15 with 4.55 to go in this opening half. Fred Treadwell with a drive on the baseline, puts it up. Will not go, but put back up by Booker. Booker with his first points of the night. We've got a tied game, 17 all. 
Boy, I hope you enjoyed this, folks. It's been a dandy. Welch with the ball. See Byron Wright playing a little uh, back from Welch, trying to guard from the drive. And Owens for the for three, it will not go. Rebounded that time by Booker. Right with the ball. Down to 4-10 to go, 17-all. Low scoring game. I thought we'd see much more offense. And we started out pretty quick, yes. but since then, both teams have adjusted very well to, they have. to counter, counterbalance what the other team's done, and uh, it's worked out so far for both teams. Ball put up that time by Demetri Treadwell. Will not go. Stevens with the rebound. Quickly down the floor. Has the ball knocked out of his fan. hands. Gets it back. Smith has it. Gets it out to Welch. Welch drives in. Puts it up, will not go. Rebounded by Booker. We got a timeout on the floor with 3.36 to go in this first half of play. It's 17 all. Superior service and product knowledge is what Powell Supply sells. For over 35 years, Powell Supply has been serving the industrial, commercial, construction, and residential needs of southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas with high-quality electrical, plumbing, and HVAC products. Powell Supply, located on Highway 25 North in Malden, phone 573-276-3444 in Dexter at 1118 Nina Street, 624-7441, or in Popper Bluff, 102 East Relief Street, phone 778-3030. That's Powell Supply for our superior service and product knowledge. What do you have for us, Tyler? Well, we've seen here in the uh, start of the second quarter, it's been very slow, or five, almost five minutes into the quarter. Portersville's only scored two points. Port, uh, Portageville's, or Portageville's only scored two. Bernie's only scored three. So what we alluded to earlier, both teams are coming out and they've uh, adjusted their defenses. You see uh, Byron Wright and Portageville playing off of Jake Welch a little bit, trying to guard the drive and to make him play from the perimeter instead of in the paint where he's done so well. And also on the other end, Bernie's uh, playing more of a zone, trying to pack it in to keep Portageville and their length out of the paint where they, where they play so well in the paint. Bernie back to a man-to-man. -man. Fred Treadwell with it. Gets it to Demetri Treadwell. He's going to be called for walking. Turnover on Portageville Bulldogs. 3.22 to go. Still tied. 17 all in the second quarter. Welch inbound for the Mules. Gets it to McGowan. Back to Welch. Very low scoring game. And I tell you what, you, you know that this is what Portageville wants. Well, the Portageville's doing a lot doing a lot more of this game to dictate what Bernie's doing on offense. In the first game, you saw it the other way around. Bernie was able to do what they weren't right. wanted to do on offense, and Portersville's taking them out of their out of their uh, rhythm early on. Foul at time on A.J. Brown. His uh, first team six. Next foul on Portersville will put Bernie in a one and one situation. We're going to have a foul on Jeremy Walker, I believe. Walker had a game for the Mules, his first, team start. Coming back in for Portageville is Bruce Mathis. Going out is Dimitri Treadwell. Three minutes to go in this second quarter. Low scoring in this second quarter, but a lot of defense now. I'm telling you, folks. A lot of defense. Yeah, right. shots are hard to come by here in this second quarter. Mathis for three. Will not go. Rebounded by Booker. He's going to put it up. He will not go, but the foul is going to be on Daniel Becky to the line to shoot two. Will be Royden Booker. Booker has not been to the line. Portageville shot two free throws tonight. They're 0 for 2 so far. I tell you, Portageville's really keeping themselves right in this game oh, with second are. chance opportunities. There's a missed free throw, but they've got six already, and that's really what's really uh, keeping them in this game early on is rebounding on the offensive side. Curry and Owens in for the Mules. Out is Becking and Walker. Bernie's two for four from the line. Portageville's 0 for four. Curry has a ball go off his heads as he and Fred Treadwell were both jockeying for the ball there. Oh, Brown at time almost had the ball go out of bounds. Fred Treadwell had happened to be in the right place at the right sure time. Sure was. 
Wright with the ball, drives in, gets the ball to Mathis. Mathis inside, puts it up, scores it. Big move that time by Bruce Mathis. He has four to game. Birdie quickly down the floor. Curry has it, stops, puts it up for bait. In and out, in, goes back in. Nice roll there by Curry. Zach Curry with six in the game, 19 all. Jake Smith getting ready to check back in for the Mules. We're down to 210 to go in this first half. Brown with the ball on the wing. Birdie in a 2-3 zone right now. Mathis with the ball. Gets the ball down to Brown. Brown back to Mathis. Brown thought about it, but Owen's hand up there. He get the, gave the ball yeah. up real quick. Well, Bernie's really getting after him in the corners, trying to do yes, a little trap are. and try to force a turnover. Brown quickly down to Booker. Booker to right, over to Mathis. Mathis into Fred Treadwell, just inside the free throw line, puts it up, gets the roll. Fred Treadwell with his second bucket, 21-19. 130, 120 to go. Welch having trouble getting the ball down the court. Gets it on down, still has the ball, goes in, puts it up. Will not go. Rebounded by Mathis. Well, that was a heck of a play from end to end, but he just didn't get it to roll. Couldn't get it to go. 105. Left to go in this first half, 21-19. Portageville on top by two. We're under a minute. Brown with the ball to right. Well, that last possession by Portageville was vintage Portageville. They got the shot. They were very disciplined on the offensive end and got the shot they wanted with Treadwell right inside the, the free throw line. Brown gets it back to Mathis. Mathis for three. Puts it up. Will not go. Rebounded by Wright. Wright still with the ball. Puts it up. Will not go. Welch with the rebound. And moving on, moving down the floor. Gets the ball over to, to McGowan. <laughs> down in the corner to Curry. Owens for three. Scores it. My gosh. That's, that's on one second three of the game. 22-21. Bernie on top with 16 that's seconds to go in this first half. Well, that's what Bernie does very well. They push the ball at the floor and he hit it to the open man for the three, just you saw Owens do there. We're down to four seconds. Right with the ball. Kicks it to Mathis. Mathis for three. Puts it up. Well, he scores it. Bruce Mathis for three. Hits the first half with the score. The Portageville Bulldogs, 24 the Bernie Bills 22. You're watching high school basketball on YHC. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd & Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd & Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. The next time you need a metal building, call Roy Owens Construction at 276-3871. Roy Owens Construction has years of experience in metal buildings. Roy Owens Construction is located on Highway 25 North in Malden. Stop by their office today to make your plans for your next metal building. That is Roy Owens Construction Company in Malden. Bernie MFA Agri-Service and Fertilizer has been providing top quality products and friendly service to customers and farmers since 1950. We offer seed and crop protection plus variable rate fertilizer applications and variable soil sampling. We strive to be your good neighbor and want to show you. Come by and see us. You'll be glad you did. Bernie MFA AgriService is proud to support high school athletics and the youth of our community. Contact us at area code 573-293-5311. Look for the giant MFA sign at the top of our grain elevator in downtown Bernie. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Well, halftime stats tonight brought to you by Agsplore International, supplying farmers with quality products and service since 1998. Stop by our location in Parma for crop production needs. 
Phone 573-357-4506 or visit their website, www.agsplore.com. It's A-G-X-P-L-O-R-E.com. Also, Lincoln Lacey and Malden has a large selection of new vehicles. Lincoln Lacey and Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ford located on Highway 25 North and Lincoln Lacey Chevrolet GMC and Pontiac on Business 25, both located in Malden. Great time to buy or trade. That's Lincoln Lacey. Needs several good pre-owned vehicles. Stop in today at either Lincoln Lacey location, two great locations, one great dealership. It's Lincoln Lacey Motors in Malden. What do you have for us, Tyler? Well, we had a much slower second quarter uh, scoring-wise here in the second quarter. Uh, first quarter score got up to 15-14. to 14. Portersville on top after one. Then in the second quarter here at halftime, we're at 24-22. to 22. Portersville on top with a uh, on top by two with a late three there by Bruce, uh, Bruce Mathis. And uh, the quarter breakdown was just nine to eight, Portersville with the, the advantage in that quarter. So not a whole lot of scoring in that in that second quarter, but uh, some key stats to look at is the second chance opportunities, that which I've mentioned before. Uh, Portersville with eight points off of second chance opportunities. Bernie haven't, haven't uh, scored any on second chance opportunities. And fast break points is pretty even. Uh, Portersville with four points on the break, and Bernie has two points on the break for them. Uh, as for uh, turnovers, uh, not a whole lot. Both teams taking care of the ball fairly well. Bernie with five turnovers. Portersville scored two points off those turnovers. And Portersville has four turnovers. Bernie's managed to score two points off of their turnovers. And uh, also from three-point land, we're seeing quite a few three-point shots taken by Portersville in the first half. They're two of ten in the in the first half. Uh, three-pointer by Demetri Treadwell and Bruce Mathis, as you saw there right before the half. And Bernie, two of five from downtown. Two of those threes coming from Jake Owen. So, you know, this is kind of uh, – it's it's it's, uh, it's a little backwards, you know. We, we, we're used to seeing Bernie shoot the ball quite a bit from the outside, but it's it's Portageville shooting twice as many from the outside in the first half. And a lot of that is uh, due to Bernie's uh, zone schemes that they're playing. They're playing a 2-3 zone, and, and uh, that's where they're trying to push them out to uh, shoot those threes. And uh, they just happen to make a few here, and uh, as you saw right there before the half. Been five lead changes, one in the first quarter, four in that uh, second quarter. Scoring-wise for the Portageville Bulldogs, uh, Bruce Mathis leading uh, the, Bernie, the uh, Portageville uh, scorers with seven points, four each to Brian Wright, four to Fred Treadwell, three to Dimitri uh, Treadwell, two each to uh, to Donnell Menace. It should be f- uh, it should be two to Donnell Menace, uh, two to DJ Birdwell, and two to Roy Den Booker. Portageville 0 for 4 from the free throw line, foul-wise. Two each to Donnell Menis and D.J. Birdwell. One to Fred Treadwell and one to A.J. Brown. For the Bernie Mules, uh, seven points by Jake Owens. He has two threes in the game. Six to Zach Curry, four to Jake Smith, three to Jake Welch, two to Quentin Stevens. Bernie is two for four from the free throw line, foul-wise. One to Jeremy Walker, one to uh, Jordan McGowan, two to Daniel Becking. Been a... uh, the referees have let them play. Of course, it's not been a rough game, but uh, you like to see that. Uh, you don't want to see the fouls take a team out of their uh, out of their game. Oh yeah, that's uh, it's been a very very well officiated game early on. It's been physical. Uh, you see uh, Portersville working hard down low, getting rebounding, and also Bernie getting out on the break and uh, it's, uh, being uh, both teams being aggressive towards the basket. So you know it's good to see that you know both teams are able to uh, get up and down the floor, and we don't spend a lot of the game at the free throw line and and uh, stop at your play. So that's that's definitely a good thing. I want to tell you, the first half today has been brought to you by First State Bank and Trust in Dexter. They support our high school athletes, coaches, cheerleaders, and uh, teachers, administrators, and fans, and the referees. Have a great quarterfinal tournament. That's First State Bank and Trust in Dexter. Again, we've got Corey Martin on the camera tonight, and we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back for the opening uh, play of the second half in just a moment. Bernie MFA Agri-Service and Fertilizer has been providing top quality products and friendly service to customers and farmers since 1950. We offer seed and crop protection plus variable rate fertilizer applications and variable soil sampling. We strive to be your good neighbor and want to show you. Come by and see us. You'll be glad you did. Bernie MFA Agri-Service is proud to support high school athletics and the youth of our community. Contact us at area code 573 293-5311. Look for the giant MFA sign atop of our grain elevator in downtown Bernie. 
The next time you need a metal building, call Roy Owens Construction at 276-3871. Roy Owens Construction has years of experience in metal buildings. Roy Owens Construction is located on Highway 25 North in Malden. Stop by their office today to make your plans for your next metal building. That is Roy Owens Construction Company in Malden. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd & Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd & Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition. Means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. And today's game is sanctioned by the Missouri State High School Activities Association. The score of any athletic event is generally forgotten over time, but the actions of players, coaches, and spectators leave lasting impressions. The next time you attend a high school game, think of how history will remember you. Choose good sportsmanship and help rekindle the spirit of citizenship. And remember, the lessons you teach today will help de develop better citizens in our communities for tomorrow. This message was brought to you by your friends at the Missouri State High School Activities Association and YHC. Well, Quality Center in Malden is your store for all your Whirlpool and Maytag appliances. Quality Center has a large selection of Hitachi, LG, and Sharp TVs. A great selection of furniture for any room of your home. It's Quality Center is your snapper dealer. Also, Quality Center is your AT&T cell phone dealer. Stop in and see Cecil Weeks at Quality Center located at 122 South Madison in Malden. Phone 276-3642. That's Quality Center in Malden. Also, McEwen Lumber in Bernie serves the Bernie area with all your materials for remodeling and building needs. Phone 293-4519 and talk with Wayne or any of the other fine people at McEwen Lumber in Bernie. McEwen Lumber Company, a proud supporter of the Bernie Mules. Want to thank those folks for bringing today's game. We've seen a dandy, folks, first half. We don't ex expect anything uh, else but another great second half here. Oh, yeah, and this is a very uh, critical point of the game, this third quarter. Had to have time to uh, adjust offensively and defensively. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how both teams come out. Uh, shouldn't be uh, much of a surprise. They've had six quarters. They've played each other so far this year, including this game. So uh, basically, it's uh, I think it's going to come down more to execution than it does anything having to do with scheme. So uh, execution is going to be very key in this second half. Winners, winner moves on to the final four. Loser Washington uniforms gets ready for next year. Bernie will inbound to start this second half. Owens will inbound. It's the ball to Becking. Hey, that uh, Portageville defense has really been uh, impressive today. Yeah, they've been very impressive today, really taking it to Jake Welch and not letting him do what he was wanting to do. And also, uh, also the guards out on the perimeter not being able to get the open shots that they're used to. Welch had to come back for the ball on a pass from Curry. The ball bounced around and comes away. Uh, goes over to the Portageville Bulldogs as Donnell Menace comes away with the ball. He gets the ball to right. 24-22 to start this second half. One of these teams be finished for the season. The other team's moving on to the final four. D.J. Birdwell gets the ball to Menace. Tries to get the ball back to Birdwell. It's off of Birdwell's hands, out of bounds. Bernie will take over. Seeing defense playing a very key role here early on in the second half. Both teams have quick turnovers right out of the gate. Portageville still with that uh, pressure as the ball comes in bounds, and they kind of back off, just kind of walk it down with them. Birdwell to Stevens. Gets it to Owens. Owens to Curry. Curry way out front. Gets it to Welch. I tell you, Birdwell is doing a good job on Welch. Oh yeah, they've they've kind of thrown different guys at him. They've thrown Treadwell, they've thrown right at him, and uh, you know you, you want to give him some different looks. We're going to have a push foul at time on Birdwell. It's going to be his third foul. Teams first of the second half. Coming in for Birdwell with those three fouls is going to be Demetric Treadwell. 
Treadwell is a 5'11 senior, very quick. Welch will inbound under his own basket. Gets the ball into Becking on a, a set play. Becking scores it. Well, that's a nice scheme there by Bernie Becking, setting a screen and rolling. Daniel Becking with his first basket of the game, 24 all. Right with a drive on the baseline, puts it up. Strong Byron move right. by Wright. He had the baseline, took it. Quick. There's not too many that can keep up with him no. right when he's, uh, when he's got that baseline. He gets that first step. If he's in front of you, forget it. Stevens inside the lane, gets it out to Becking. Becking back to Stevens. Stevens for three, puts it up, will not go. Rebounded in there that time by Treadwell. That's Demetri, Dimitri Treadwell. Gets it over to Wright. 26-24, Portageville back up on top by two. We've had six lead changes thus far in this game. Treadwell with the ball. Drives in, puts up a layup, will not go. Rebounded by Owens. Gets it to Welch. Boy, notice how both of these clubs, Wright brings the ball down for Portageville. Welch brings it down for Bernie. Welch inside against, uh, against Wright. Wright uh, gets a block. Comes uh, Mathis comes away with it. Gets it to Menace. Menace inside the lane, puts it up. Will not go. Tipped back up by Booker. Portageville up by four, 28-24. 5.25 to go in the third quarter. Welch with a drive. Goes in, has a ball blocked out of bounds off Portageville. We can see as Welch is driving now, the helm's coming. The, the length of both Booker and Menace are coming over to, to, to deflect that shot. And uh, Welch is having a hard time getting that paint here early on in the first in the second half. McGowan and Smith in for Bernie. Also Fred Treadwell in for Portageville. Welch gets the ball to Smith in the corner. Smith's going to work the baseline. Goes in, puts up a left hand, a tough shot, but ball goes to McGowan. McGowan put it up, it's going to be foul. The foul is going to be on Donnell Menace. It's going to be his third. Portageville now with two players with three fouls. That's Menace and uh, also Birdwell. The line to shoot two is Jordan McGowan. McGowan has not scored in this game, and that's very unusual. First yeah, we're down. used to seeing McGowan start off hot and uh, continue through the game as he did the, in the first matchup with Portageville. But uh, we'll see what kind of second half uh, he's, he's, he comes in here in the second half. He's being aggressive, very aggressive early on. As McGowan was getting ready to shoot, the uh, clock person uh, honked the horn. The guy came in, so they're going to redo this. They, they made him go out, trying to get Demetri Treadwell into the game. McGowan's going to get that second shot over. Scores it. 28-26, 5-12 to go in this game. Treadwell in four minutes. Mathis inbound for the Bulldogs. He gets it to right. Mathis working against Owens. Gets it over to Treadwell. Treadwell back to Mathis. Mathis going to drive. Good move that time. Puts it up left-handed and scores it. Nice move that time by Bruce Mathis. He Very has two nice and a, move by Mathis with a spin move and with the left. Very tough shot. He has two and a quarter, nine in the game. McGowan on the wing. Gets it down to Smith. Smith working against Booker. Ball out of bounds off Portageville. Welch inbound. Gets it to McGowan. McGowan, the nice move, puts it up. He's going to be fouled. Basket did not go in, but he had a shot at it. Got fouled. Well, Bernie's been very effective from inbounding the ball yes. under the goal uh, this game. That was their third uh, opportunity to score. They scored on the first two opportunities with that inbound play. And uh, McGowan's going to go to the line to have a third scoring opportunity off the inbound play under the goal. Right, Roy Den Booker with the foul. That's his first, team's third of the, of the second half. McGowan's free throw gets the soft throw and falls in. 4.34 to go, Portageville 30. Now that's to go in the third quarter. Portageville 30, Bernie 27. 27. Second one will not go. Booker with the rebound. Boy, Booker's been very active, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. He's, he's got a lot of length, and it's going to be hard for – hard to keep him out of the paint. He's getting some good looks early on in the paint, but they're going to go to him right now. 
Booker's down low, gets it to Fred Treadwell. We got a three-second violation on the Portageville Bulldogs. 4.19 to go in this third quarter. 30-27. Portageville on top. Becking and Stevens checking in for the Mules. Smith and Owens going out. Welch with the ball. Going to bring it across the timeline. Right will be on him this time. Or is that Fred? That's Fred Treadwell, isn't it? Fred yeah, Treadwell on Fred Treadwell on Welch. Really looking to get the ball down to Jordan McGowan down low. Curry skips the ball over to Becking. Becking to Stevens. Stevens driving with the ball, gets it to Becking. Becking looks inside, gets it out to Curry. Curry working against Demetric Treadwell, gets it to Welch. And we're going to have a foul on Fred Treadwell. It is a holding foul. Fourth, fourth team foul of the half on Portageville. Second team foul, or second foul on Fred Treadwell. Bernie will take the ball out with 3.38 to go in this third quarter, trailing 30-27. to 27. The Bulldogs are on top. Welch with the ball. Hear that patented foot slap there by Coach Botch. We've told you all many times he has had uh, throat problems uh, for a long time, and he has, to, he has to use his foot to get their attention. Welch tried to drive the baseline and kick it back, but stepped out of bounds. Turned over to Portageville. Quickly, Portageville inbounds and right. Almost had a breakaway, but Portageville, or uh, Bernie finally saw what was happening. Fred Treadwell with the ball. Gets it out to Demetric Treadwell over to right. Right did side, and Stevens with a near steal knocks the ball out of bounds. It will stay with Portageville. 3.09 to go in the third quarter, 30 27. Low scoring game, but a lot of defense. A lot of defense. Oh, yeah, tough shots are hard to come by here in the last few quarters. And like I said, coming out of the, the uh, start of the second quarter here, execution is going to play a vital role here in the second quarter, or in the second half, rather. Right with the ball, gets it to Booker. Booker working against McGowan, gets it to Mathis. Mathis inside to Demetri Treadwell. Treadwell, the spin move, gets it over to Fred Treadwell, and he puts it up. It's going to be foul. Foul is going to be on, I believe, Zach Curry. It will be. Zach Curry with his first, team's first of the second half. Treadwell is 0 for 2 from the line tonight. He has four points, that all in the first half. First free throw scores it. 31-27. A.J. Brown will be checking in for Portageville. Second free throw gets the roll. Brown coming in for Dimitri Treadwell. 32-27. Biggest lead by Portageville in quite some time. Yeah, five-point lead right now isn't bad for, for either team. You know, the way that both teams have been playing and not been able to get on a run. Stevens with a break. Comes down the floor. He's going to put it up. Ball is blocked. Fred Treadwell with a rebound. Gets it quickly out to Brown. Brown working against Owens. Gets it over to right, but tipped out of bounds by Becking. Birdie lucky to get back that time to stop that uh, easy bucket. 32-27. Mathis will inbound under his own basket. Gets the ball to Fred Treadwell, a set play. He scores. Treadwell with four in the quarter, eight in the game. Biggest lead, 34-27, seven-point lead by Portageville Bulldogs. With time out of the floor, we'll to tell you tonight's game. Brought to you by A-Plus Family Clinic, located at 203 East 3rd Street in Portageville, phone 379-2100. A-Plus Family Clinic is proud to support the Portageville Bulldogs. If you're feeling less than your best, come see the A-Team at A-Plus Family Clinic in Portageville. Dr. David M. Boyd, General Dentistry, has two offices, one at located at 118 East Main Street in Portageville, open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For appointments, call 379-3650, and one also at 109 East 5th Street in Crothersville, open Monday and Fridays. For appointments, on 333-1550. That's Dr. David M. Boyd, General Dentistry, and the We Care team. They remind everyone, whatever you do, do all for the glory of God, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. 
Again, if you're enjoying this game, folks, please tell the folks that are sponsoring this because I tell you what, they, uh, they help pay our freight over here, I can tell you that. Owens with the ball inbounds to Welch. If you don't think it, Tyler and Corey can't eat. My goodness. They, they threw us out of the smorgasbord <laughs> place a while ago. <laughs> Bernie needs a basket. Stevens with the ball inside the free throw line. Puts it up. Will not go. Ball. Becky with the rebound. And Booker is going to be called on his back. Second foul on Booker. 15 foul on Portageville in this half. 2.05 to go in the third quarter, 34-27. Welch will inbound for the Mules. Becking gets the ball, goes inside, puts it up, scores it. Daniel Becking with four and a quarter, four in a game, 34-29, under two minutes to go in this third quarter. Mathis with the ball, gets it to Brown. Brown gets it down to... Fred Treadwell and Stevens going to be called for a push-off. Quentin Stevens, his first foul. That's the team's second foul, Bernie's second foul of the uh, second half. Brown out. Dimitri Treadwell in for him for the Portageville Bulldogs. Mathis to inbound. Gets the ball to Wright. Wright kicks it out to Treadwell. Treadwell for three. Will not go. Rebounded by Jake Owens. Owens with the ball. Treadwell's on him. Owens brings the ball down. Portageville has played a tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Owens goes inside, puts it up, and will not go. We're going to have a walking call. Walking call on Owens. 34-29 with 1.31 to go in the third quarter. 34-29. And Portageville's uh, bringing the tough man-to-man -to -man pressure there. Owens is going to take advantage of it. Try to make something happen going to, towards the goal. Got a little ahead of himself. Took a, uh, probably a half step too many. Turns it over to Portageville. Right will inbound. Bernie in a full court. Man-to-man -man press. Right has it working against Welch. Well, that's quickness versus quickness. Defense versus defense. As both of them love to play at defense. Welch is going to be called for a hand check that time. Jake Welch with his first foul. Team's third in the second half. Right will inbound for the Portageville Bulldogs. Gets it to Mathis. Mathis almost loses out of bounds, and we're going to have timeout on the floor to save a turnover there. Good call by Coach Bidewell. First Community Bank in Bernie, where service to their customers is number one. That's First Community Bank in Bernie, 293-5316. I want to thank Alan Ellenberg and all the fine folks at First Community Break for bringing this game tonight. Also, Butler Drug Store located 222 East Main Street in Portageville is your local health mart pharmacy. Phone 379-5469. Butler Drug has 24-hour prescription service. Phone 379-9609. Also, Paramount Cards, Pangram Candy, and many more items for your shopping convenience. Pharmacist Trey Roan invites everyone to Butler Drug Store located downtown Portageville. Butler Drug Store, a proud, a proud sponsor of the Portageville Bulldogs. Again, want to thank all those folks for bringing tonight's game. What do you have for us, Tyler? Well, here uh, early on in the third quarter, you saw Portageville uh, get out to an early lead here. They got a five-point edge. And I believe I think Portageville's been able to, since the break, they've come out and they've been able to execute more efficiently on offense. They've been more disciplined, getting, uh, getting, good, get, get, getting good open shots and uh, and. On the other end, forcing Bernie to, you know, do some things they're not uh, usually uh, known for doing is, you know, causing turnovers and get them, get them out of their rhythm and not able to really set up a good offensive scheme. So uh, that's been the story early on here in the second half. Right with the ball, gets it to Dimitri Treadwell. McGowan on him. Welch with a near steal. Right gets it back. Right behind the back, Welch still trying to steal the ball. Good dribbling at time of Treadwell. He gets it to Fred, or by right, gets it to Fred Treadwell. Treadwell scores. Was that a two? That was a two, yep. We've got timeout on. we got a turnover by the Mules. 36-29 with 49 seconds to go. Fred Treadwell having a great second half. He's got six and a half, ten in the game. Portageville with a chance to increase their seven-point lead with 42 seconds to go in his third quarter. Welch with a steal. Gets the ball to Becking. Mules get the ball back. 
McGowan thought about three, pulled it back, gets it to Welch. Welch goes inside, puts it up, will not go. Off balance shot. Mathis with the rebound. 22 seconds to go in this third quarter. Action has picked up. Mathis has a ball. Kicks it off to Demetri Treadwell for three. Will not go. Rebounded out of bounds. The ball will go over to the Mules with 15 seconds to go. Zach Curry checking in for Bernie. Going out is Jake Welch. Also, uh, Jake Smith checking in. Zach Curry going out for the Mules. Owens will inbound. Bernie needs a basket in the worst way. Portageville wants a stop. Stevens with the ball. We're going to have a push foul against Fred Treadwell. 8.2 seconds to go. The next foul on Portageville will send Bernie to the 1-1 one one for the remainder of the game. Brown in for Fred Treadwell. Owens to inbound with 8.2 seconds to go. Ball kicked out to Curry. Curry to the free throw line. Puts it up short. Rebounded by Stevens. He puts it up on the board. Scores it. Big bucket right there by Quentin Stevens to end that first uh, third quarter. Stevens. Big bucket draws Bernie within five, 36-31. You're watching high school basketball on YHC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Bernie MFA Agri-Service and Fertilizer has been providing top quality products and friendly service to customers and farmers since 1950. We offer seed and crop protection plus variable rate fertilizer applications and variable soil sampling. We strive to be your good neighbor and want to show you. Come by and see us. You'll be glad you did. Bernie MFA Agri-Service is proud to support high school athletics and the youth of our community. Contact us at area code 573-293-5311. Look for the giant MFA sign atop of our grain elevator in downtown Bernie. The next time you need a metal building, call Roy Owens Construction at 276-3871. Roy Owens Construction has years of experience in metal buildings. Roy Owens Construction is located on Highway 25 North in Malden. Stop by their office today to make your plans for your next metal building. That is Roy Owens Construction Company in Malden. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd & Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd & Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. And we're about to get set here for the last quarter of play here in this Class 2 quarterfinal. We got a, after three, it's a score of 36 to 31. Portageville on top by five. Not a whole lot going on in that quarter. It's been more of a low scoring game. Here in the third quarter, Portageville outscored Bernie 12 to 9 in that third quarter. And that's, uh, that's, that's the common trend here in this game. Portageville's outscored Bernie. Every quarter in this game, the first quarter 15 to 14, second quarter 9 to 8, and in the third quarter 12 to 9. Now in the uh, second chance uh, department, second chance opportunities, Portageville's got two points off second chance opportunities in this second half. That's 10 in the game. Bernie was able to get four points on second chance opportunities in this half, and that's six in the game. So, uh, you know, Portageville really was able to really get in their offensive rhythm, get good looks, and stay disciplined on the offensive end. And really on the other, uh, other side of the court, they were able to force Bernie into, uh, to get ahead of themselves, force turnovers, and, co and, uh, and convert points off those turnovers. So uh, Bernie's really going to have to uh, really adjust to the defense that Portisville's applying and get the shots that they're, they're capable of getting and that they've gotten all year long. Portageville will start with the ball to start this final quarter of play. They lead the Bernie Mules 36-31. Winner moves on to the final four. Wright with a drive, puts it up, scores it. What a move by Byron Wright. He has eight in the game. 
Bernie quickly down to four. Ball tipped out of bounds by Donnell Menace of the Portageville Bulldogs. Bernie want to get this game moving a little faster. You can tell that. Owens to inbound for the Mules. Ball down in the corner to McGowan. McGowan tried to hit Smith with it. Ball kicked out of bounds by Booker. Scoring-wise for Portageville, Fred Treadwell with 10, 9 to Bruce Mathis, 6 to uh, Byron Wright. Of course, Wright now has 8. He's talking about the end of the third quarter. A gallon with the ball. Thought about a 3, pulled it back. I tell you, the defense has really shut down the ability of Bernie to shoot that three. McGowan saves the ball from going out. He puts up a long three. As I say that, it will not go. Owens with a rebound, but we're going to have a push a push off that time on Jake Smith. Smith with his first foul, 14th foul by the Mules this half. 38-31, 7.24 to go. Becking getting ready to check back in for the Mules. Smith coming out. Yeah, you're seeing, uh, you know, we're used to seeing McGowan getting some good looks from three and actually, you know, uh, forcing them to come out and he can get in the lane and drive, but I uh, haven't seen that much this game from McGowan. Well, their defense has just been, uh, Portageville's defense has just stymied Bernie. I mean, they've just been in their face. Their quickness is uh, unbelievable tonight uh, versus what we saw uh, two and a half months ago up at Bloomfield. Yeah, they've really brought the defense here tonight. McGowan with a near steal ball will stay with the Bulldogs. Fred Treadwell will inbound for the Bulldogs. He gets it to right. That's who they want to handle the ball, I'll assure you. This young man's something. It's fun to watch. Right with the ball just inside the three-point line. Puts it up. Will not go. We're going to have a foul on Fred Treadwell. That's going to be his fourth as he went over the back. Good block out that time by the Mules. 38-31. Portageville on top of seven with 650 go, uh, 6.51 to go in this game. Fred Treadwell out. Coming in for him, Roy Don, Roy Den Booker. That's going to be the 17th foul on Portageville. Yep, one That'll and one. Send Bernie to the line shooting one and one. If that's Bernie, you you want to get to the free throw line because you've had a, a, a difficult time getting into the rhythm on offense. So get right. to the line and get some points on the board without having to execute an offensive scheme. Or with that, that time going right away now. on the clock. Oh, yeah. Yep, well said. Zach Curry has not been to the line tonight. He has six points in the game. Has not scored in the second half. First one scores. Curry is a 6'2 senior. Fine young man. I tell you, we've got to know the players from both of these teams. And it, 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 it's just fun. I mean, Portageville, Bernie, in our viewing area, and I tell you, we, we enjoyed the fans talking to us tonight. Really appreciate you being here. This is going to be on TV. and They, they just really enjoy it, and, and we enjoy doing it. Right with the ball, quickly down the floor, gets it to Birdwell, puts it up, scores it. D.J. Birdwell, I tell you what, the young man, he only has four points in the game, but he has played one great defensive game, and he's very quiet. Welch with the ball, gets the ball to Becky. Becky in the quarter to Curry. Curry working against uh, Dimitri Tread, or working against Bettis. Ball tipped out by Roy Ed Booker. Wright with the layup, scores it. Byron Wright has four and a quarter, 10 in the game, 42-33. Biggest lead by the Portageville Bulldogs. 6.15 to go. Welch for three. Has a ball blocked by Wright. Ball went to Birdwell. He goes in. He gives the ball to Wright. Wright puts it up for a layup. Will not go, but the foul's going to be on Jordan McGowan. Well, Wright's really turned it on here in the yes, fourth quarter. Just saw him with a break on the, play, the previous play. Goes the length of the floor, and he gets a great shot block on Welch and almost completes a three-point play. That's right at his best, though. Got those hands moving on defense, causing a, a, a tip of a ball that he heads down the floor. Birdwell gets the ball to him. He goes in, had great position. McGowan had to commit to foul. Ten-point lead right now for Portageville, 43-33. We want to tell you a timeout on the floor with 6-10 to go in this game. Winchester uh, re uh, Place, a residential care center in Bernie, located at the corner of Bowman and Winchester Drive. 
Beautiful living room and activity and TV room, wellness room, licensed beauty shop, sunroom, library, and computer room. Elegant dining and private dining rooms. State-of-the-art whirlpool tub. All rooms are large and fully carpeted with refrigerator and microwave. All rooms have private large bath with handicap accessibility. A private and semi-private rooms are available. Our new addition will be completed very soon. For adding new apartment type units. For questions, please call 293-6705 or come by and see us for a grand tour. I want to tell you, that is a very nice place. I've been in there several times. And Tammy and all the staff there do a great job at Winchester Place in Bernie. What do you have for us, Tyler? Well, Portersville's gotten out to a 10-point lead here, and they've got a 7-2 run here to start the fourth quarter. And we really, we really haven't seen any runs in this game, but really yep. Portersville's kind of on their first, uh, first run here to push this out to a 10-point lead. So we'll see how Bernie adjusts and how Portersville keeps the pressure on to extend this lead. <laughs> That ball just kept hanging up there, and it fell ahead for Wright. He has six in the quarter. He has 12 in the game. Wright really exposing himself. Becky with the ball down to McGowan in the corner, blocked by Booker. Ball taken away by Wright. Wright with quick heads, gets it to Birdwell. Birdwell's going to drive in against Welch, puts it up, will not go. Tipped up by Wright, scores it. Portageville is on the run. They're up by 13, 46-33 with 5.45 to go. Owens with the ball. Bernie trying to compose. They need a basket. Owens drives. He's going to be fouled by Birdwell. Birdwell's fourth. The line to shoot a one and one will be Jake Owens. Five thirty-four to go in this game, and Portageville just kind of quietly pulled this thing open. Yeah, they've they've done it from the starting from the defensive end of the floor. They forced turnovers, blocked shots, and gotten out on the break on those uh, on those defensive defensive uh, efforts. And it's it's that's been the big difference of the game here in the second half. Jake Owens to shoot two. He's one for two from the line tonight, or shoot a one and one. I should say he gets the bonus. Forty six thirty four. Owens connects on the second one. He now has nine in the game. Just uh, hats off to Portageville's defense. They have just really played tough. Bernie with a press. Menace with the ball, gets it to Booker. Booker faces up or squares up to the bucket, brings it back out. Bernie's defense has really stepped up, and it's going to have to. Dimitri Treadwell inside to Booker, puts it up, scores it. Booker with five in the game, 48-35, 5-10 to go. Owens for the quarter, will not go, rebounded by Wright. Portageville feels it right now, don't they? Yeah, they're going to look to put this away, try to put it away early. Ball passed down to Dimitri Treadwell. He has four in the quarter, seven in the game, 50-35, biggest lead by Portageville Bulldogs. Stevens for three, answers, big three. We got timeout on the floor, 50-38 with 4.47 to go. Bulldogs on top by 12. Superior service and product knowledge is what Powell Supply sells for over 35 years. Powell Supply has been serving the industrial, commercial, construction, and residential needs of southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas with high-quality electrical plumbing and HVAC products. Powell Supply located on Highway 25 North in Malden, phone 573-276-3444. At in Dexter, it's 1118 Nina Street. Phone 624-7441 and Popper Bluff, 102 East Relief Street. Phone 778-3030. That's Powell Supply for superior service and product knowledge. Well, we've seen Portersville really, as we mentioned, getting after it on the defensive end, converting, uh, converting the offensive opportunities off those defensive efforts and getting many fast break points here. we got six fast break points here in the second half. And they've also, when Bernie brought the pressure, just as you saw, uh, seen a while ago, They've really been disciplined, handled the pressure, handled the trap, looked for the open man. And uh, players like Booker and uh, Menace have really done great for him down low and getting those points. So uh, Portersville's done a great job at executing on the offensive end and also turning up the defensive pressure and getting offensive opportunities. Portersville quickly down the floor, beating the Bernie defense. Demetri Treadwell went in for a layup, couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Mathis, he put it up. He's going to be fouled. Going to the line to shoot two will be Donnell Mathis. He has two in a game. He's not been to the line yet. 
16 foul on Birdie. The next foul will put uh, Portisville in the bonus foul that time on Quentin Stevens, his second. Free throw up, gets the crawl on it. 51, 38, 440 to go. Nice crowd in this beautiful Civic Center at West Plains. I think their manager told me he held 2,800 people. Next one, one will not go. Rebounded by Smith. Ball quickly down to the corner. Curry comes away with it. The foul is going to be on Menace. Menace just happened to be in the wrong place at the right time or right place at the wrong time, whichever one you want to say it. The line to shoot a one and one will be Zach Curry. And Bernie really needs these points here to uh, try to get this within single or within double digits into the single digits and make one last run here with a four and a half to go. Birdwell back in for Birdwell and Mathis back in for Portageville. Also in for Bernie is McGowan. Curry sinks the first free throw. He has nine points in the game, the senior does. He's 6'2", senior. It's three for three from the line in this quarter. Scores a second. 51-40, 434 to go. Portageville leads by 11. Mathis gets the ball to Booker. Booker to right. Wright goes in, gets it over to Birdwell. Birdwell puts it up, will not go. Rebounded by Birdwell, puts it up, will not go. Rebounded, tipped around, and Welch comes away with it. Birdie on the run. Welch pulls it back, gets it over to Stevens. Stevens puts up a three with two guys on him, and it's short. We're going to have a blocking foul on McGowan, his third. The line to shoot a one and one will be the Portageville Bulldogs. Yeah, Bernie come down and uh, take a little ahead of themselves there. I don't know why they're, they, you know, we've got plenty of time here. They're only down 11 with over four minutes to go. Seems like a quick shot on Bernie's end. That gives the opportunity of Portsville to go to the line and Demetri extend this lead. Treadwell puts up the free throw, scores it, gets the bonus. Treadwell five and a quarter, eight in the game. 5'11 senior. He's a dandy, folks. Second one up, knock it home. Fred Treadwell coming in for Dimitri Treadwell. McGowan will inbound for the Mules. Mules trail by 13 with 4.07 to go. Owens with the ball. We're down to four minutes. Welch for a long three. It's the front of the rim. Mathis comes away with the rebound. He gets it to Wright. Boy, they want Wright. They want that ball in Wright's hands, don't they? Yeah, he's got the open court. That's who you want the ball in their hands. Fred Treadwell with the ball, and Welch strips him of it, but McGowan comes away with it, but the foul's going to be on Birdwell. That's going to be the fifth foul on D.J. Birdwell. 3.44 to go in this game. The line to shoot two will be Jordan McGowan. They've not put up the fifth foul yet for, there it goes. DJ Birdwell had four points in the game, but I want to tell you his defense and his aggressiveness under the boards, he did a, did a great job. Oh yeah, he was very aggressive on the break and uh, getting to the basket, staying aggressive to the basket all game. Seen it, uh, saw him working in the paint all game long and uh, one of their fine efforts by Portersville today. Jordan McGowan is three for four from the line tonight. That's all the points he has is three points from the free throw line. Free throw up, he's gonna shoot the second one. 53-41, 3.44 to go. Second one up, scores it. Oh, it, it fell off the front of the rib. We're going to have a foul on Zach. What, what happened there? I thought the foul was on Curry. I just turned my head. 
Yeah, they had a jump ball right here. In the oh, jump of the ball. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ball stay. Ball goes over to Bernie on the alternate jump. Ball tipped out of bounds on inbound pass by Welch. Hey, Portageville's hands are so quick on that defense. And they're and a lot of those players out there, they've got a lot of length. Bernie runs that inbounds against that man-to-man -man as good as anybody you want to see. Zach Curry with a uh, shot and the points. Has six and a quarter, 12 in the game. Owens with a near steal. That goes off his hands out of bounds. Bernie back within 10, 53-43 with 3.31 to go. Fred Treadwell trying to slip behind everybody. <laughs> they, both of these teams, are they're fun to watch. They're well coached. They get after it. Party with the uh, steal. Ball tipped around. Stevens with the ball. Gets it back to Owens. Owens for three. Will not go. Rebounded by Curry. Curry with a dribble inside. The ball taken away with the right. Wright's all the way down the floor. He's going to go ahead and put the layup in. Scores it. He's going to go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Yes, right as 10 and a quarter, 16 in the game. Completely different from that December game. He only had four points in that game. Yeah, we saw right right there on the defensive side again. He tips it away, takes his own steal, goes the length of the court with two uh, defenders. And uh, what a nice layup and a chance for a three-point play. That's an amazing fourth quarter here by Byron Wright. Curry with the foul. He has two now. Wright's free throw will not go. Fred Treadwell with a rebound, and Curry's going to foul him as he goes up for the shot. So Fred Treadwell going to go to the line to shoot two. Fred Treadwell is two for four from the line tonight. He has ten points in this game. He has not scored in the uh, fourth quarter. But the 6-1 sophomore has played an outstanding game. i tell you what, uh, both of these teams, uh, man, it's a shame both of them can't go on to Columbia. Treadwell's free throw scores it. 3.10 to go, 56-43. Second one scores it. 57-43, 14-point lead by Portageville. Owens with the ball, drives the baseline, puts it up, will not go. Curry the rebound, puts it up, scores it. Zach Curry working the boards very strong in this fourth quarter. Right quickly down the floor, puts it up, scores it. Oh, oh, we got it. Foul on the floor. Foul on the floor. Basket does not count. And Bernie's having a hard time getting in the, getting into defensive position in the transition after the basket. And, yep. and Byron Wright got the ball clean out of the inbounds, pushing it up, trying to score. And uh, that's what you don't want is Byron Wright in the open court with no. uh, nobody in, in front of him. And uh, he's going to go to the line and try to extend this lead. Yeah, Zach Curry with his fourth foul. He's had three just real quick. 58-45. Portageville up by 13 now with 2.51 to go in this game. Second one up. Scores it. Fifty-nine forty-five. Bulldogs 14 up on the Mules. Owens with the ball. Ball taken away by Wright. Showtime. What a play by Wright. He did it again. He got a steal. Took his own defensive effort for the slam. Owens quickly back down the floor. Answers with a three. 61-48 with two and a half minutes to go. Portageville on top of the Bulls by three. Agspor International, supplying farmers with quality products and services since 1998. Stop by their location in Parma for your crop production needs. Phone 573-357-4506 or visit their website. That's www.agsplore.com. It's A-G-X-P-L-O-R-E.com. Lincoln Lacey and Malden has a large selection of new vehicles. Lincoln Lacey Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ford located on Highway 25 North in Lincoln Lacey. Chevrolet GMC and Pontiac on Business 25, both located in Malden. Great time to buy or trade. Lincoln Lacey needs several good pre-owned vehicles. Stop in today at either Lincoln Lacey location, two great locations, one great dealership. It's Lincoln Lacey Motors in Malden. What do you have for us, Tyler? Well, it's been, uh, you know, it's been, the same kind of story here in the fourth quarter. Portersville's been able to do what they want to do on the offensive end, and it's all starting with Byron Wright out front. He's making things happen on the defensive end, getting his own steals, taking his own steals, 
down for uh, fast break points, and fast break points has been the story for Portageville here in this second half. They've got 10 points on the fast break in the second half, and that's 14 on the game. And and uh, Bernie's just having a hard time getting rhythm offensively and, and being able to uh, uh, slow down Portageville in transition. And now Byron's on the transition again. Right quickly down the floor, hit uh, Demetri Treadwell with a pass. Treadwell's going to be fouled as he puts up a shot. Shot did not go. He's to the line to shoot two. Demetri Treadwell, two for two from the line. That was in this quarter. He has nine in the game. Foul was on Jordan McGowan. He now has four. Free throw up. Scores it. Well, Portersville's really shot well here they from have. the free throw line in the fourth quarter. They they went up to the line and just knocked them all down, it seems like. We're going to have Fred Treadwell with a push-off as that free throw was missed. That will be Treadwell's fifth foul. They're 10 for 13 for the free throw line this quarter. Fred Treadwell, great game tonight, had 12 points. Zach Curry to the free throw line. He's four for four this quarter. Missed that one. He has 14 in the game. Second one up, scores it. 62-49, 2.22 to go. Boy, I tell you, they haven't quit, have they? Portageville quickly down the floor. They found a way to get there. Welch is going to be called for a reach-in. Well, it this. seems like even after the make by Bernie, Portageville's getting out on the break and getting uh, getting right the ball yep. with a free release on the break even after the basket. So Bernie's really going to try to – Quiet that down here in the later, later minutes of this game. Booker misses the first free throw. 2.16 to go in this game. 62-49. The Bulldogs on top of the Mules. Second one scores it. Bernie quickly down the floor. Owens for three. Will not go. Rebounded off of the fingertips of Mathis. Mathis could not control. Ball will stay with the Mules with 2.10 to go. 63-49. Bulldogs up by 14. McGowan wants the ball, gets it, gets it back to Welch. Welch back to McGowan. McGowan outside to Stevens. Stevens for three. It's short. Owens with a rebound. With a reverse, will not go. Right with a rebound. He's going to take it down the floor, but Owens is going to be called for a reach in. His first foul of the night. Down the, the line to shoot two will be Byron Wright. Both teams in the double bonus with 2.02 to go. 63-49. Time running out for the Mules. In and out on the first shot. And as soon as I say the Portage Hill been shooting the ball very well in the fourth <laughs> quarter, they missed two in a row. Sixty-four forty-nine with two oh two to go in this game. First state bank and trust in Dexter supports our high school athletes, coaches, cheerleaders, teachers, administrators, fans, and referees. Good luck to all teams in this state quarterfinal tournament. Again, we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us bring this game. And it, it's been a dandy, folks. Portageville is just, their defense has just really been tough. Yeah, they've really uh, come into this game knowing that defense was going to make the difference, and that has so far in this game. They've really brought the pressure to the mules, forced the turnovers, and converted many points off those turnovers and really getting out on the fast break. And Byron Wright's been the difference between the two games, I believe. The first game, he was uh, held in check with four points. And this game, he's just exploded, and it's all started with his defense. He's really he's gotten steals, taken them the other way, and he just got a stuff just a few minutes ago. And he's just he's just been the uh, you know the engineer of this this game, this uh, Portageville Bulldog team in this game. And well, he, any game he can turn it on, and he sure has today. Portageville, I, I tell you what I've noticed when they get that rebound, they're going out to the wing and going up the floor and trying to push it right now instead of walking it down, and. Uh, that's uh, they're showing their quickness off their defense. Yeah, and they and and you know they've they've had success pushing the ball up, and you know there's no reason to uh, 
start being passive when you've uh, been successful being aggressive going up the court like you have and getting Byron right in the open court. That's, you know, that's what you want if you're a Portageville Bulldog fan is getting him over in the open court where he can uh, dish off and make things happen with his dribble. We've got a question here on the timeouts on by each team. So they're bringing the, the official score. They're bringing in both the team. Uh, both teams now have a, a uh, scorekeeper. But the official scorekeeper is the one at the clock. And uh, I think uh, they're about to get it settled out, settled here. Okay, both uh, both Portageville and Bernie have brought a lot of fans this far over. Uh, we left this morning at 7.30, had to go through Dexter by the studio. And uh, we went, uh, I guess it's about 130 miles from Dexter over here to the game. So a long way to go. And both teams have been great if we could have played at uh, Bloomfield or Popper Bluff or Malden on a neutral site. But it, it's over here, and uh, it's your, your first time to West Plains. Yeah, my first time to West Plains is a very nice uh, civic center here in West Plains. It's my first time here. It's very nice where the uh, Missouri State University West Plains uh, community college team plays. Got a very nice facility here. and. Uh, that's one thing I was concerned about on the way over that, you know, being such so far away that they get the crowd, you know, that we uh, we would like. And uh, sure hasn't disappointed. No, both teams, both, it's, both it's towns. It's a sea are, of blue. Oh, yeah, a sea of blue today in, in both uh, West sides. Plains. Welch has the ball knocked out of his hands, 64-49, 155 to go. Folks, we really appreciate uh, all the support from uh, you folks out there that watch our station and watch our games. We really enjoy doing this, kid. Zach Curry on an inbounds pass by Welch. Oh, he's filling it up this quarter. 64-59. We got a foul on Jake Owens, his second. Line to shoot two will be Donnell Menace. Menace is one for two from the line tonight. He has three points in the game. I was amazed with the people in Portageville said, oh, you're all over here to do the game. We love watching them. So, uh, and we know the Bernie people watch them because they tell us all the time. So we're glad to pick up viewers. Menace misses a first. Packing checking in for the Buells. Stevens going out. 64-51. Bernie needs to score a bunch in a hurry. Portageville is working the clock. Second one by Menace, scores it. Welch quickly down to McGowan. McGowan for a long three. Will not go off the rim. Out of bounds. And now I've got that down as McGowan's first three-point attempt of the afternoon. Maybe. And then we're here a minute 41 left in the fourth quarter. So that's that's something to say about Portersville's defense this game. Welch is going to be called for the foul on. Byron Wright. Wright is a 6 one senior. Folks, he is very quick, as you can tell. Great ball handler. Tremendous defensive player. He's had a great offensive uh, fourth quarter. He's had 15 in this quarter. Wow. Amazing 21 on the game. Let's make it 16 now. Scored six from the line. He's six for eight from the line so far, and he had 10, 10 points. Just added another one there. Curry working against Droyden Booker. Passes the ball off to Daniel Becking. Nice pass that time. 67 53, 125 to go. McGowan going to be called for the foul. It's going to be his fifth. Jordan McGowan is going to foul out tonight with four points, all from the free throw line. He was four for six from the line. Strong effort today by Jordan McGowan. Just wasn't being able to really get into the, uh, the offensive scheme that Bernie was wanting to bring today. But, uh, boy, he's a strong player for Bernie. Oh, he's, he's only gonna, a sophomore, Yeah, it's going to be a joy to watch yeah. him the next two years for sure. It is. I'll tell you, both these teams got sophomores. It's going to be fun to watch. Sophomores and juniors. Menace's first free throw is short. 122 to go, 67-53. Second one up, scores it. Welch with the ball.
Puts it up, will not go. Wright's going to be called for the foul. It's going to be his first foul tonight. The line to shoot two will be Jake Welch. Welch has three points in the game. He has one field goal, one free throw. He's one for two from the line. He's only a junior. What's amazing, most of these guys on both teams playing basketball play baseball. They say it's D.J. Birdwell is a great baseball player. And, uh, you know, you can go on up down the line with Bernie Mules on their baseball. Mathis with a nice rebound, throws it down for Wright. Wright runs the ball down. We're down to 105 to go in the game. Wright has the ball tipped, and we're going to have a jump ball. It will stay with Portageville with 105 to go. 68-54, Bulldogs on top. Mathis inbounds to right. Under one minute to go. Wright gets the ball over two. A ball taken away by Welch. As Welch stripped menace of the ball. We're going to have a jump ball and we'll go to Bernie. 54.3 seconds to go. Clock's running. Well, skips the ball to Owens. Owens puts up a three, forces one up, goes out of bounds. We'll go over to the now Bulldogs. 45, 45 seconds, seconds to go. Ethan Allen getting ready to check in for the Mules. Allen is a 5'9 senior. Jake Owens going out with 45 seconds to go. Porterville wants to wind down this clock with 45 seconds. And they'll be on their road to Columbia. They'll be playing there next Thursday morning at 9 o'clock. Who will they be uh, playing? The and they'll be playing the winner of the other uh, the other quarterfinal. It's between Miller and Adrian. That game's going on as we speak at the same time. So uh, we'll find out later on who they'll be matching up with in the semifinals. That'll be Thursday the 19th at 9 a.m. That'll be against the winner of Miller and Adrian. Standing ovation for the uh, five players for Portageville by their fans as they uh, bring in several of the players. They got Isaac uh, Ray out there. We've got uh, Fernando Mims. Uh, we, we don't have, we got Caden Robbins. Also in for the Mules is Justin Cook. And also in for the Mules is uh, Creighton Williams. Ball out of bounds with 19.4 seconds to go. 68-54. Portageville is going to move on. They'll go to 22-5. Bernie will go to 27-4. What a great year by the Mules. Brown with the ball. Down to 10 seconds to go. And that'll do it. The Bulldogs will advance to the final four of the Class 2 State Championships. Final score, 68-54. Portageville on top of Bernie. And this one heck of a game of a quarterfinal here in West Plains. Portageville moves on. And we'll face the winner of Miller and Adrian. And I can't wait to see who they match up against. And uh, that game will be played Thursday at 9 in Mizzou Arena in Columbia. Well, we're going to take a short break and come back with the final stats here and wrap this game up. Again, final score, 68-54. Portageville moves on to the final four. Coach Jim Bidewell, along with assistants Ron Riddle and Jason Irby. And the whole Portageville team and fans, congratulations to you all. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. You're watching High School Basketball on YHC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. The next time you need a metal building, call Roy Owens Construction at 276-3871. 
Roy Owens Construction has years of experience in metal buildings. Roy Owens Construction is located on Highway 25 North in Malden. Stop by their office today to make your plans for your next metal building. That is Roy Owens Construction Company in Malden. With a former All-State basketball player and a current school board member, the law firm of Welch, Todd & Parker supports high school athletics. Our firm is involved in all areas of the law, and your first consultation is free. The firm is comprised of attorneys John Welch, Darren Todd, and Cameron Bunning Parker, along with four staff members ready to serve you. Welch, Todd & Parker is located at 100 West Main in Malden. Come by or call us at 573-276-2261 for any of your legal needs. Bernie MFA Agri-Service and Fertilizer has been providing top quality products and friendly service to customers and farmers since 1950. We offer seed and crop protection plus variable rate fertilizer applications and variable soil sampling. We strive to be your good neighbor and want to show you. Come by and see us. You'll be glad you did. Bernie MFA Agri-Service is proud to support high school athletics and the youth of our community. Contact us at area code 573-293-5311. Look for the giant MFA sign at the top of our grain elevator in downtown Bernie. Welcome back to the West Plains Civic Center for the wrap-up of the post-game of the uh, quarterfinal of the boys' class 2A. And uh, between Portageville and Bernie, a great game. Oh, and, it's a uh, great game. Portageville, congratulations to them and the Bernie Mules. Do not hang your heads. What a great year. Great year both teams. Boy, I tell you what, that's what you like to see. I'll give you the scoring right quick and we'll have uh, Tyler give you the stats. Leading the Portageville Bulldogs, uh, he had uh, 17 in the fourth quarter was Byron Wright with a total of 23 points. 12 points to uh, Fred Treadwell, 10 to uh, Dimitri Treadwell, 9 to Bruce uh, Mathis, uh, 5 each to uh, Donnell Menis and to Royden Booker. Uh, free throw wise, uh, 17 for 29 on the game for the Portageville Bulldogs. Portageville now goes to 22 and 5, and uh, Tyler will be telling you again who they'll be playing on next Thursday at uh, 9 o'clock at uh, Mizzou Arena. For the uh, Bernie Mules, uh, high point man Zach Curry with 17 points, 12 to Jake Owens, uh, 7 to Quentin Stevens, 6 to Daniel Becking, 4 each to Jake Smith, Jordan McGowan, and Jake Welch. Free throw wise, 14 for 20 by the Mules. Mules finish the season 27-4, and four, and uh, sorry to say that uh, in this we saw uh, uh, Zach Curry and Daniel Becking in their last games, along with Jeremy Walker and Ethan Allen, and uh, those guys are a lot of fun, and, and they're, they're good people. The uh, Portageville Bulldogs move on. Uh, Coach uh, uh, Brad Botch, also uh, Jason Long, and Darren Shipman, what a great season they've had. What great guys they are. They'll be back next year. They'll be a contender. because Boy, they've got a bunch of them coming back. Oh, yeah, plenty of juniors and also a couple of JV kids that will probably come up and play a little varsity. And a, a great season by the Bernie Mules and, a, and an even greater season for the Portsville Bulldogs who are going to move on to the semifinals in Columbia. And we'll get on to some, uh, uh, some more additional stats here. Uh, well, let's first let's talk about the quarter breakdown. The okay. fourth quarter just exploded for yep. the, uh, sure the Portersville Bulldogs. They scored 32 points yep. in the fourth quarter. And the previous three quarters, they scored 15, 9, and 12, respectively, for the previous three quarters. Total of 36 points. And then they exploded with 32 in the fourth quarter. And uh, Bernie actually uh, uh, scored more in their, that quarter as well. They scored 23, where they scored 14, 8, and 9, respectively, in the three previous quarters. So uh, that was the, you know, as we talked about at halftime, which team was going to come out and execute their their schemes, and it was Portageville from the jump, from the defensive uh, from the defensive side, forcing turnovers, and that's where you saw Byron Wright just explode there in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter. Yep. He got on that break, and uh, uh, the Mules weren't but they weren't able to stop him on the break. And in other uh, stats, the fast break points, uh, uh, Portageville with ten. Fast break points in the, the second half, 14 on the game compared to Bernie's four fast break points in the game. So it was all Portageville on the break for the entire game. And in second chance opportunities, Bur Portageville with sec 16 second chance points, uh, Bernie with eight second chance points. And that's where you saw Portageville really uh, yep. working hard on the offensive boards, getting the putbacks, and, and really just dominating the boards all game. And uh, turnovers were uh, quite a statistic. Bernie had 12 turnovers. Portageville converted 12 points off of those turnovers. And Portageville 
had nine turnovers, but only uh, gave up four points off of those turnovers. So uh, it's a, you know, on paper and as well as you can see in the game, Portageville just really come out and executed in every aspect of the game. They're very disciplined on offense, didn't turn over the ball, didn't give up points off the turnovers, rebounded very well, especially on the offensive boards. And, and the story of the game is the defensive game that Portageville came out and played. They come out very, very prepared, very uh, come out and execute it very well. And it all started with Byron Wright at the front. And uh, they'll move on to the, the semifinals on the 19th Thursday. To, at, uh, the semifinals will be take place at 9 a.m. And they will play the winner of Miller and Adrian in that semifinal. And uh, the way the Bulldogs have played today and the way Byron Wright yep. uh, making things happen out front, shot. they have got a shot at winning their fifth state title there at Portageville. That's uh, Coach Bidwell and the Portageville Bulldogs going for their fifth state title in Columbia this this, uh, this next weekend. Congratulations to the Bulldogs. What a great season they've had, and uh, I, uh, hopefully that you'll come home with that number one. We, we're all behind you. I want to tell you tonight's game brought to you by Three Rivers Community College, MFA Moore Soy Seed, Roy Owens Construction, Quality Center, McEwen Lumber Company, A-Plus Medical, Welch Todd and Parker Attorneys at Law, David, uh, Dr. David Boyd Dentistry, First Community Bank, Butler Drugs, Winchester Place, Powell Supply, Ag Explorer, First State Bank and Trust, and Lincoln Lacey in Malden. Folks, if you've enjoyed this game, win or lose, please tell those sponsors how much you enjoyed because I want to tell you, this is <laughs> really about the only thing people could see uh, was this game if you didn't come, so you're going to get to watch it, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, what a great, uh, great two teams that we saw out on that floor tonight. A lot of hustle, a lot of sweat, played hard. Just not Bernie's night. Portageville uh, avenges that 24-point uh, defeat at the uh, Bloomfield Christmas Tournament, and they played hard, and uh, Bernie did too. It, just, it was a great game to watch, a lot of fun, and, again, congratulations to the Portageville Bulldogs. Moving on, again, congratulations to the Bernie Mules on a great season. 27-4, and four. man, I'd love to have had that at Clarkton. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> I'd just like to have the four <laughs> over on the win side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you went to the state championship. That's yeah, all that matters. We went every year. We went up and watched and came home. <laughs> Again, for Corey Martin on the camera tonight, for Tyler Wagner, my co-partner here, and I'm Bill Hampton. If you're out and about on the roadways, we ask you to put those seat belts on. We want you to be safe. And don't forget, live today, learn from yesterday, look forward to tomorrow. We'll see you at a basketball game next year, folks. We're ready to rock and roll. Have a great uh, summer out there.